Hi, Yarna Bees. It's Sandy. Um, I just wanted to come on here and uh, talk to you a little bit about some things that have been going on um, in the last years. Some of my new subscribers probably don't know. I've talked about it a little bit, uh, but I haven't gone into um, the whole story. Uh, if you want to see those videos, they're in my playlist. But uh, last January, we had a tragedy strike our family. And it was my sister. And sorry, you're going to hear background stuff. The kids are in the kitchen. Um, so last January, my sister ended up going into the hospital. And we didn't know what was going on. We thought uh, the doctors were telling us that she may have brain cancer or, you know, stuff like that. And then they changed it and they actually found out, they sent um, a biopsy away. They found out that it was actually cerebral Wegener's disease. Um, it's not something that can be treated. It can be treated, but it's not curable. My sister will have it for the rest of her life. Uh, so anyways, we went through... A few months of hell it was it was scary we didn't know if we were going to be able to ever see her again and then and then COVID hit and we weren't allowed to go into the hospital and that was really hard she had four surgeries in two months uh, on her brain and um, she came out of it like a champ so um, it's been <laughs> <clears throat> when this was all going on um there was a call put out for help and wow <laughs> <clears throat> all of the yarnabies came to help There was money raised to help my sister and her family get through the tough time because my sister was the breadwinner at the time and uh, like the main bread breadwinner. And um, so that that was a big blow. So um, you guys all gathered around our family and helped us out. And we are internally grateful for that um i could never i i could do i couldn't do enough giveaways to say thank you although i did try because <laughs> i did the the whole raffle palooza thing and it was a great hit and i gave away 10 big boxes of yarn so i think that was put a little bit of a dent in the thank yous but um so anyways you guys have been waiting for gosh long time almost a year to hear from my sister and she's finally here <laughs> and uh yeah so anyways she wanted to come on and say thank you herself and to maybe share a little bit about what she went through. Um, for those of you that don't know what Wegner's is, uh, there's different forms of Wegner's and she got the most rare, of course, because she's that special. <laughs> so, um, so I'd like to introduce you to my sister, Charlene. <laughs> Thanks <a lot. laughs> We're going to cry a lot. <sighs> Forward. <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying to keep it together, but it's so difficult because it's such an emotional time. Um, it was a, a hell of a year, and I'm still dealing. Um, I have to thank the family for the updo and the... They did this yes, yesterday. we just we just did this whole thing like yesterday where we dyed her hair, we cut her hair, we, you know, jazzed her up a little bit to make her feel better. <laughs> <laughs> it did. I feel transformed. It's wonderful. Um, but yeah, it's been an interesting year. 
to say the least, and <laughs> emotional. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's on prednisone, and apparently prednisone really messes with your emotions. And, yeah. And they've been trying to get her down. She was on 80 milligrams of prednisone. I'm, on, eight, I'm eight, on 9 milligrams yeah. now, but I was, was on, on 110. Eight. Oh, wow. It, oh, okay. I only know about the 80. <laughs> yeah, they had me up to 110. Oh, okay. And, um, yeah, so there's a lot of transformation. And I guess when you get to this point, it's really emotional. And so I'm emotional anyway. <laughs> Do a lot of breathing. We never a lot of... <laughs> might not get through this. <laughs> There might be a lot of edit cuts on this oh, yeah. one. Our family is extremely oh, emotional man. on a good day. <laughs> wow. But anyway, um, with trying to go through the transformation of being in management and always being the one telling people what to do, which is what my job was, and I loved it because that's kind of me, and not knowing anything different, um, and always being the the matriarch i guess yeah of the family everybody came to me for advice and yeah. help and suggestions and whatever and to have me transformed to the point where i have to sit and i can't go anywhere i can't do anything uh, my memory was affected my eyesight is affected to this day my hearing is affected to this day my equilibrium my balance i mean it just goes on and on and on and with COVID, it's kind of a blessing in disguise because um, my immune system is so suppressed that I'm supposed to be living in a bubble. So to be able to come here and be with family is wonderful. And um, I kind of feel human again with this, this updo and being around family and having my brains come back to me a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> that um, it's it's been an interesting, for any of you out there that are, used to being hit the floor running and always on the go and you know go 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 and doing things and whatnot to be told you know well you'd not be told because you physically can't do it and with all the restrictions and whatnot it's um life-altering frustrating i could just write a book on all of that stuff and anyway, she might. <laughs> you never know, I might and plus to learn about this new autoimmune disease that I have and to try to live my new life with this transition. Um, yeah, it's, it's uh, when they say, gonna make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> they told her <sighs> when she was coming out of the hospital, you know, forgive yourself because you're not gonna be able to do anything anything you're going to be laying flat you're not going to be able to you can go to the bathroom you can you know do stuff like that but don't expect to be able to do what you did before because yeah. you will not have any energy or any strength and i'm a fighter it's like yeah watch me yeah <laughs> all of us in our family we're like we try to go against the odds all the time yeah. um so when they say you know live life to the fullest you don't know what tomorrow brings i am living Freaking proof yeah. of you go to work, you come home, you have two days off, you're not feeling well the third day, and you wake up four days later and find out you've been in a coma, and then you drift out again, you lose another three days, you lose seven days of your life, and your life is transformed. So I'm telling you, if I could do so many things over again, man, oh man, you yeah. know, don't say no. If somebody says, hey, you want to go do something, jump on it and do it and you know, moving forward, I'll be yeah. making decisions a lot differently. But I wanted to thank everybody for the support. Um, total strangers. Who to think? You know, funk, whatever the word is. <laughs> um, Sandy's an amazing person. She's got such a personality. And with the Crochet A community that she has created or everybody's come to join her to do this with her crocheting and whatnot um it's amazing with the outreach and the love from people that i don't even i don't know i hear about you i receive cards thank you i've received um the gifts i've got the shawls i have like all the wonderful things i just couldn't believe that everybody reached out like they did and i thank you and i i 
wish there's some way that I can repay, um, move, you know, pay it forward. And that's always foremost on my mind. Um, I don't crochet. I used to, but you really don't want to see it. It's, <laughs> it's pretty pathetic. And it was a long time ago. Um, I'm working on uh, some projects. Um, trying to be encouraged by family saying, get a hobby. Well, when I'm used to doing work all the time, the hobby for me is, you know, I mean, I do a little bit of genealogy and I write a little bit, but you know, it's like trying to figure out what to do other than think about work and think about employees and think about, you know, how you're going to organize your day the next day. And it's all, you know, retraining the brain. So I just might be following crochet a a little bit more and I might learn to get to know some of the ladies that are on, out there. Um, and who knows, maybe I'll even start crocheting again. We'll see. But yeah, but I do. I <laughs> thank you from the bottom cease. of my heart. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it it was it blew our family away when all of my yarnabies just gathered. Um, it it was insane. It was an insane few months. Um, and the outpour of love from you guys was just it was staggering it, it was, was it was yeah, just I, unreal I just couldn't believe it I yeah. honestly could not believe it and um yeah I, there's just there's just no words yeah no words of except thank you so much to everyone that participated and helped and thought and sent cards and letters and we were originally going to string up the things across the oh, back the hearts, but that was yeah. at my place not here but yeah. I still have all of the stuff at home yeah I was originally like I I asked everybody to send in crocheted hearts and I was going to when Charlene was I mean she was in the month in the hospital for a few months and she doesn't remember it right like she because she had these surgeries and she was in and out of comas and she was it was insane and so I wanted to make a garland of everybody's hearts and put them in our hospital room. But then they told us that they were going to transfer her to the cancer ward because they thought she had brain cancer. And so I thought, okay, well, I'll wait till she's in that ward. And then they didn't do it. And they kept her, they put her in uh, another, I like, I see you, like, um, yeah, it was like a logical. Yeah. And, uh, and so I was like, okay, what are we doing here? And then we found out that it wasn't cancer. She wasn't going to have chemo. She was, it was Wagner's and we were just like, what? So I didn't know from one day to the next where she was going to be in the hospital, if she was going to be at a different hospital. So the garland never got put up, but, um, she does have them all. I have to figure so, out what I'm going to do with them. Yeah. We thought maybe putting them in a, a photo album or like just something like a um, maybe crochet. You can crochet the blanket and add the little. <laughs> Notice I get her doing all the stuff and just she add the stuff to me in all it. the time. Just crochet around them. There you go. Okay, you. there's a thought. <laughs> but yeah, so um, yeah, I like she said. We can't thank you enough. It was. Um, it really helped us get through, not just financially, but emotionally, emotionally, spiritually. It helped us get through a lot of it. Um, I was constantly getting messages uh, and and ha people telling me what they got went through and um, with different forms of health problems and giving me encouragement and love and you know, it was just, oh, it was just crazy. It was, uh, some of it's a blur, you know, because we were just so in such a heightened state of yeah. emotion. Um, I, there's stuff I don't even remember. Um, but yeah, it was, it was crazy. But you know what? She has come in leaps and bounds in just a short period of time, right? Like there was a couple of months there where she was exactly what the doctors told us she was going to be. She was going to be down for the count. She wasn't going to have any energy. She was, you know, she, but you know what? She's in the hospital. She comes out of her first brain surgery and she's telling my niece, okay, 
I got to write this down for work and that down for work. And I got to do this and that. And oh, what about those bills? We got to pay these. And we're looking at her going, are you, are, what? Are you kidding me? You know, but we had to kind of take a step back and go, all right, she's trying to process stuff. So just let her do it. Well, I'm you still know? in denial. It's like, yeah. I absolutely refuse to believe what's going on with me. It's, oh, yeah. It's, you know. well, when we told her exactly what happened, she was in shock because she doesn't remember any of it. Right. So. Um, and I'm glad I slept through it. I'm glad you did, too. <laughs> I'm really glad you did because it was it was horrible. I just feel bad for everybody around me that had to endure that. I mean, I can't even imagine if, it, yeah. you know, if it had been you or one of the other girls oh. or whatever. I just would have lost my mind. Yeah. We almost did. Yeah. <laughs> so I heard. <laughs> we almost did. I tell you, drive you to drink. <laughs> it's like, holy cow. It wasn't too long ago that she still had an eye patch on and she was walking with a walker. And then, I don't know, it was weird. It was like she got up one day and went, this is crap and I'm not going to deal with it anymore. And That's the next it. thing I know, she goes on a motorcycle ride with her okay. husband. Yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> Yeah. Like, what? I, I almost drove over to her place. But I did ask, I asked all the doctors and everybody, should I, can I, was it okay? And they says, as long as you have, you know, something to hang on to and you're not, you know, your balance isn't so bad, you'll fall off the bike, live your life. And I went, okay, let's do baby steps here. But I figured that on the was back not of a baby Harley. Step. Okay, let's Just do that. saying, <laughs> that was not a baby step. She almost gave me a heart attack that day. <laughs> Because her balance is still off, right? Yeah. Like she's still, like she'll tip every once in a while. And, you know, so for her to be on a freaking motorcycle, I was like. Well, I was a little concerned and I said, go slow. And he did. And it, yeah. was, it, was, just, it was good. Yeah. I, and she know, had other motorcycles around her. Yeah, I had three other bikes that were following yeah. us. So, you know, and we weren't going that fast because yeah. he kept checking on me to make sure I was okay so but you have to do something right yeah. so that's you know I talked about that for a couple of weeks with a few people that I spoke yeah. to and whatever it's like yay I did something exciting and you know sit in my chair and look at the and we're all going next month <laughs> yeah so <laughs> that was my highlight of the summer <laughs> But, you know, and then another time she she she's texting me every day and she texts me and says, oh, I cleaned the house. I did the laundry. I did, and, and she's cleaning the vents, getting ready for winter. Yeah. I'm like, but I'm already on the floor. <laughs> right. You can't go any farther down. So I was like, I thought it out. Come on. <laughs> I've What's... fallen and I can't get up, so That's I'm going right. to do the vents. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Just crawl into the other room and grab the vacuum and crawl back. Oh, you know, man. You just do what you got to do, right? <laughs> and then she says that her washing machine broke. So she's going to go to the want take the stuff to the laundry mat. I'm thinking to myself, how the hell are you going to do that? You can barely get up and down those stairs. She's got like, I don't know, 15 14 stairs. There's eight and six. Yeah. There, there's a ton of stairs that she's got to go up and down and then she's got to use a walker for some of it or a cane or something and i'm going uh no, and you're gonna, gonna do this how do <laughs> no 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 i had that all planned that wasn't gonna be me that was my idea and i come up with a lot of them let me tell you i have to-do lists that would just oh. and i have a husband with a sense of humor so lucky thing he he was good with it <laughs> oh yeah yeah i mean it's it, yeah it's it's been it's been interesting but she's i mean if you had a looked at her a few months ago or yesterday or yesterday <laughs> total difference total difference like oh my god like i think i had pictures of your birthday mm -hmm. on a video where she had an eye patch on with her walker she looked twice her age, right? And she was just she looked was like Frankenstein's frail. sister. I had I had stitches up the back, yeah. stitches here. My hair was like like I say, I used yeah. to have really long, beautiful, thick brown hair. Yeah. And I turned into uh, anyway. Yeah, she had all of this was shaved, and uh, yeah, like that's another story. Yeah. <laughs> but but it's you know it's. It's long, 
I still have a long way to go. And that's the whole thing is like, I don't look sick. I don't feel sick, but I have issues. It's like, I'm looking at the, the camera now and I see two faces, but I can't see the eyes and the nose and the, like, I can't yeah. see, and my hearing is shot and my balance is shot. So I have issues, but, um, you know, I try to fake them out, right? And I'm not, sometimes I don't Yeah, and so that's well. the, that, that's another thing is she's trying really hard to make us believe that better she may be better than she <laughs> is. Right. Well, I want to believe I'm better than I am. Oh, so we don't really know how she's doing. <laughs> she's like, oh, yeah, I'm great. I'm going to do this and this and this. And really, she can't see straight. She has her balance is off, but she's going. She's yep. going to go and do it. Right. Yep. So but um, yeah, so we yeah, kind of so. have to watch her a little bit and go. <laughs> <laughs> I know there'll be one day where I'll tell myself I should have relaxed and I should have yeah. Done what I was supposed to do, opposed to push it. But I mean, come on, you know. Yeah. I'm 60 going on 40. Uh, not long, <laughs> another, you know, 120 years left, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of catching up to do. Well, after everything you've been through, you'd think you would. Hmm. You know, it's like, come on, cut her slack here. So, Jeez. Yeah, so. But anyways, so we wanted to give you an update. We wanted to um, explain to the new subscribers what was going on and why this video is so important <laughs> because everybody has been asking me like I get messages all the time saying how's your sister doing like how how is she you know and I've been I've been promising you guys a video for a while but Charlene hadn't been feeling up to it um you know and I was and, chickening out because I'm so emotional I thought I'll yeah. blubber through the whole thing yeah so it's like we just have to kick each other every once in a while. <laughs> so stop it. Stop it. Because <laughs> so, if I start crying, she cries. If yeah, she cries, so I why. cry. Keep it it's... light and fluffy and we're all good. Get oh, yeah. the sentimental stuff in there and I'm just totally done. Yeah. I mean, you guys know, man, I cry on so many videos. It's, I, I mean, I'm not even doing anything emotional, saying anything emotional. I'll start crying. So, yeah. Chalk it up to menopause and pills and... <clears throat> God knows what else. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently the metformin is supposed to help me with my emotional stuff, but yeah, we could keep trying to find excuses for each other and why we're, we are the way we are at this moment. And you know, it works for us anyway. Yeah. So anyways, so that's all we got for you right now. We just, we, we just love you guys so much and, um, we just can't thank you guys enough. Yeah. I just, so so much love out there for people I don't even know. Yeah. And she's looking for a pen pal. Like I am. A writing pen pal. Like, yeah. yeah who, who likes to just get bills in the mail? It'd be nice to get a, like a real letter once in a while. <laughs> so that's why I was so thrilled about all the cards and things that I've gotten from everybody. It was like, oh, look at that. And look at that. Oh, look at that. That's another one. It's great. Yeah. So, yeah. Just food for thought, you know. <laughs> just saying. <clears throat> But anyways, okay, guys, we're going to let you go. And then we'll probably shed a few more tears and whatever. <laughs> I'm going to have a couple more videos for you guys coming up. Oh, here comes my daughter, Tia. <laughs> Hi. 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 <laughs> She's so, responsible for the do. Yeah. She Sandy colored. cut my hair and Tia colored it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if she lets me, I'll put a before and after picture just so you guys can see. She might not let me. I don't oh, know. At this point, you know, it's kind of like after childbirth. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, van know. vanity's out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Exposed to the world. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So thank you guys. We love you all. You're going to do will, that. I will talk to you guys later. Okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>